Hello. 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 How are you? Yeah, not too bad. How's it going? Pretty okay. Could be better, but could always be better. This is true. Could also be worse, though. That's also very true. It's already shaping up to be one of those weeks for me, so... Me too. So where's everyone else? Seager, good question. Seeger's here, There's just Seager. not talking. Yep. Hello. Hello. As usual. Hello. Madman said he might be a bit late. And no idea about Ben. Hey, Ben. There's Ben. Hey. Hello. <sighs> You're late. We were distributing all of your stuff among the rest of us. Ah, uh, that's all right. Just the next time you all die, I won't bring you back to town. <laughs> I'm getting really okay. frustrated because my Star Trek Online game will not patch for some bizarre reason. That's weird. I'm trying to patch it in the background while we're playing, but it's just not playing. While we're waiting for Mad Men, I can show you all this. Cool. I know what one of those is. Do you have uh, Windows 10, Casey? I do, yes. Did you just install the newest update? No, it's uh, well, for a few it, days. Mine, mine did a weird thing. And when I play, when I log into Star Wars now, and I'm at the launcher, and it's launching the game, I cannot move my mouse. I have to click the launch button and then wait for the game to be loaded to move my mouse or it will crash. And it was because of that Windows 10 update. Something that they did, I don't know if it is the same for other games, but like when I launch that MMO, I have to leave my mouse completely still or it will crash. Hmm. No, this isn't doing that. This is actually letting me into the launcher. But then where it's going to patch the launcher, it's just basically freezing on connecting to server. It's like the server's down or something, but the server set, the status says it's up. Oh, rip. Last time that happened to me on an MMO, I had to reinstall the whole game. Don't say that. I'm just saying. And I'm saying don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Your hammer ship is actually quite a bit smaller than uh, most hammer ships. You guys oh. don't know that in character, but... I see, see that it can land. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I completely forgot about that. I was <laughs> thinking last night, I was like, I don't remember what what happened. Like, I was thinking You're about so. doing the recap, and I was like, I don't... Forgot. I got it, I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll do the recap once Madman gets here, because he's the one... <laughs> He's the one he needs. Who needs it desperately? So I, I, I'd like to think is the, uh, the the modifications is just a big freaking flat side that we just lay on. <laughs> well, it's it, actually small spindly legs. That's what they are. Oh no! See, I, I was thinking the modification is just when it crashed, the bottom was flattened out. So now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, exactly. now there's a flat surface that it can land on. Yep. It's no, like, but, yeah, uh, it's already flattened. Just land it on there again. Uh, there's actually something else in there that you'll find out uh, in the five hours that it takes you to get, because you guys go very fast. Uh, due it, to, it turns into I a real living centric, right? Huh? Yeah, it turns into a really, <laughs> a real fucking hammerhead. No. Uh, this you find inside of the, of the hammerhead ship. We find what? Where is it? Yeah, is it in roll, roll, 20? roll 20? Oh, okay. All right. I'm still getting in the roll 20. I was like, I don't see anything in the sky. In the hammerhead but is a dragon. Yep. Oh. So we have two spell gemmers now. So we could pretty much take over the world now if we wanted to. Well, neither of them have weapons. This is true, but we have a big gun that shoots fireballs and wands that shoot fire and lightning and... We, we yeah, have enough that we yeah. could just fly where we wanted to go and just rain down hellfire. Out of, the, the... Out of curiosity, <laughs> how much XP did a tribe get us last week? We didn't kill the whole tribe. Uh, a none, them, because right? I don't do XP. <laughs> a couple of them ran away to tell the tale. Okay, yeah, we a tribe minus two. And that actually wasn't the whole tribe, that was just a number of devotees. I was about to say, I didn't think three shots from that thing was off a whole tribe, unless they were super clustered. In which case, I would have felt kind of bad if I killed a whole tribe. Okay. Kind of, like that, was only, one shot. that was only 20 people. That could have yeah. been a small tribe. It Who wasn't was going to it. But you don't know that. You don't know. I assume in character that it was the whole tribe. But that's an assumption, so, you know, take it for an assumption. So I have a dragonfly on this character too. Nice. That could have actually just been one family, knowing how Sohagen breed. They breed the entire family. Flies. They just they just breed like like flies or rabbits. No, they breed like snakes. Well, they at yeah. least breed, snakes. I think, like five or so children. Oh, fuck his madman. God damn it, madman. I, I confused I found him this earlier by calling him Mad Rubber. Yeah. Uh, I found yeah. this really cool PNG of the Hammerhead uh, ship. Oh, nice. Like is, that, is that to scale? That, that is not scale, no. Damn. That would be awesome. So, I'm really enjoying Diablo 3. Which is not oh, an MMO. It isn't. No. I can still play it with up to four of my friends, though. It's 
kind of MMO y, but not really at all. It's MMO y in the fact that you have to grind. Yeah, or not, that the fact that MMOs. it is a grind. Well, I enjoy the grinding, at least in Diablo. At least it's entertaining and it's always different. It's not like some grinds where everything is the exact same. Yeah, no. It's. Look, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just. Oh no, no! That's what I'm saying. It's the kind of grind I can enjoy. Like when I was playing Black Desert online, where like literally every single mob of every type is in the exact same place every time. That was just monotonous. At least everything's random. <clears throat> yeah, I have to admit, I installed Black Desert and lasted about 45 minutes. That's another one of those ones where the most fun thing I think I liked about that was the open PvP aspect of it, where you could just go and where you could actually fight to maintain what it was that was yours and you were grinding. But they also heavily, like, they heavily, not enforced, but encouraged you to go play by yourself because you got more XP. And that's all it was, an XP grind. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, I, it, I, but... I couldn't get past the horrible, horrible, horrible translation. <laughs> I did tell you that the translations were absolutely terrible. I yeah, remember ab that. Absolutely terrible does not cover what those were. <laughs> the draw of the game is like the openness of like the crafting and all of the stuff you can do. Yeah, the, tr the it translation is game. The translations were bad enough that they made all your base or belong to us look like proper English. <laughs> you should have seen the translations for the stuff you didn't even get to, like in the new content. It's awful. Because <coughs> you know how when, when companies try and, like, they realize there's a problem, they try and fix it, and then they just make it worse? That. What, did they double Google Translate it to make sure it was extra translated? It got kind of, like, Siri voice-ish, like, automated S. Oh, no. Like, so instead of a bad actor just trying to say English, it was a bad actor trying to say English slowly and more brokenly. It was weird. I'm very glad I uninstalled that. I still install it. I still have it open and I'm playing it now. All I do is horse breed in it, though. That's all I do, is I breed horses, and I sell horses, and if I ever decide to start playing the game again, I'll have, like, billions and billions and billions of silver. Because that's an aspect of the game that I actually liked. Yeah, a lot of the trade aspects of it look really good, but I could not get past the, the, the translating to even get to that part. Yeah, I just completely ignore the story. Skipped every cutscene. I mean, most Asian games, I would say in general, but MMOs especially don't at all focus on story. The story just tends to be you're the hero. Oh, I mean, it had... Like, I've read, uh, what do you call it, like, wiki synapses of the story, and it's not a bad story. It, this one doesn't even have you're the hero. This one has, there's a little glowing light thing running around telling you to kill things. Oh no, uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy. Um, well, that one's even better. It, it ends up being you are the hero, you forgot all your memories, and then this thing is trying to corrupt you, and eventually you have to fight it down the line into submission and, and realize you're the hero. It had an interesting twist in there, but you know. Eh. And then there are more twists along the way later on when you get to bosses and whatnot. It's better than than Final Fantasy Online. I kind of, I kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of liked watching the little guy turn into something else, because like after every few quests, he he would sort of grow, grow legs and arms. Yeah. And then he'd have like a bigger head. See, I never got that bigger far. mouth and everything like that. He just gets creepier and creepier. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Do you want to see what the final form of it looks like? Yes. Sure, I do. Why not? 
Hold on. I don't know. They're they're they reminded me a lot of Casey's Chaos. <laughs> there, there may be a new uh, version of it out. I haven't played in a while, but uh... let me see if I can find one that's got the whole like evolution chain thing. Come on, Madman, what the hell? He did say he was going to be late. Which I know doesn't make it better, but still. Late means like a few minutes, not like... 20 minutes. Not more like, like more than a few minutes. Or <laughs> If we've run out of other topics to talk about, he's he's too late. I mean, there's always Game of Thrones. Oh, talk about that. Excellent. Ben, have I, you watched it? I have watched it. I watched it last night. I, I oh, okay, love, then we're I all love, caught up. I, I love Arya. Best best thing ever. I don't understand the face for the the. That order's particular abilities at all. I wish they. I hope they explain it more. I think it's somewhat. supposed to be mysterious. Uh, it's yeah. definitely supposed to be, but it's it seems so hand wavy at this point. It, it's it's a secret that is so secret as it is akin to magic. Um, I mean, it basically at this point is magic. Yes, but, but basically the way that Game of Thrones handles it is that they live in a world that they don't specifically recognize it as magic. It is magic, but it is just a magic that is integral to life, so they don't call it out as magic. Yep. At least not in, in where they come from. Yeah. yeah. In Westeros, they're like, oh my fucking god, you're magic. Yeah, it, I liked the Arya opening scene. I liked there were things I liked, and there were things that were kind of like eh, they set everything up to get going. Yeah, I mean, it, it, in the end, it was a setup episode, but it mm -hmm. had some amazing points in it. Uh, I, I don't think any single scene in the show so far I enjoyed as much as that Arya scene. Absolutely, I enjoyed one scene more. That was vindication. It's just because it made me laugh and it reminded me of you. And it was when, <coughs> when uh, what's his name, Burned Face, when they're running down, and the dude's like, "Why are you so grumpy all the time?" And he goes, "Experience." I <laughs> lost it. I lost it. <laughs> I, had the I did I enjoy. Like, that. Although, I was, I was getting strong vibes yesterday from the whole like staring into the flames mm -hmm. and seeing the vision. It's like someone watched Game of Thrones yesterday, didn't you? Hmm? What? Uh, when when uh, your character was it? Sin was it, it was Sinclair, right? Who stared into the flames and saw the vision? Oh, that's I don't, true. You I don't think any of us had watched it yet at that point. No, no I, I know, but I was in my head. I was thinking, like, has he watched Game of Thrones yet? Or no, I didn't. Because that's that was weird. really fucking like I was getting strong vibes from that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's a that's a big trope. Yeah, staring you know? into the lens is kind of a big thing. Yeah. It happens all over the place. I've stared into the lens whenever I've been set at a campfire before. It's not and, unique but, to Game of Thrones. The vision Clegane receives very, very specific. <laughs> yeah, now that was. Very fucking specific. <laughs> I don't know if he's a flame. I don't know if he's trying to play them right now I, to get them to go where he wants them to go, or if he's actually legitimately seeing stuff. I, I am genuinely thinking there's a chance that he, he is really seeing things. I don't think... I, I think he's definitely smart enough, but I don't think he's clever enough to... Because I don't see why he would give a shit to go towards them, the, the army of the well, dead. Well, the thing is, with him... He does care, but he's very careful to hide it. So if he did want to go that way, he probably would use some kind of deceit to do it, rather than admitting that he cares. 
Right, but I don't. I, I just try to remember back. Has he even heard about the Army of the Dead or? Because he received. That's the thing. He's, I'm, I'm he's not received, sure if he has. I don't think no. it's. He, that was a very specific. Yes, it was. Thing that he said. Yeah, and that's what made me think, like, specific. okay, maybe, maybe he isn't playing them. Maybe he's like receiving visions or some shit. But... It could be. I have to go back and rewatch all the old episodes. There's so much that I've forgotten. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, there was actually uh, there were two specials that aired here. I don't know if they aired everywhere, but. Um, over here, they did a, uh, a Game of Thrones war room talking about like uh, like a recap show before the show came back on, and then they also did a hour long highlight show where they went through all six seasons so far and talked about all of the major events that have happened along the way. So between watching those two on Sunday night was really kind of back into the grounding for being ready to watch this. So... Mm -hmm. It's very... Yeah, I... I thought about going back and, like, re-watching the last episode, and I was like, no, I'm just gonna watch this. <laughs> oh, don't worry, they recapped what you needed to remember. Yeah, they right recapped the a lot at the beginning. Oh, uh, they did, they honestly did. They, like, they did a good job. I still miss Hodor. Yeah. I have to say, that scene in the last episode was just... When it, when it, when you finally get the realization of why that's all he can say... Yeah, it's fucked. It, uh -huh. it really is just messed up. Yeah. But it was genius. That's... Yeah, that whole arc though is really messed up. Like, I still like what? What is a three-eyed raven? Why are you a three-eyed raven? How is this? What is what? it, and what does it? Is it some sort of like what? deity almost, or like it seems to it, be? It's druidic. It's it's wild magic. Yeah, well, it's like which of it? Like, because we know that that's real, but then there's like some stuff that it's like, is it real? Is it not real? Are these crazy well, people, or is this just a crazy thing that's real? I don't think they're crazy. Three eyed because... Raven was his manifestation of his of his mind. That was that was wasn't it uh the uh the old man in the tree. It was his sort of manifestation in Bran's mind, wasn't it? Well that was I'm, sort of thing. I actually and this could be a bit odd, I'm actually almost convinced that the old man in the tree was Bran. You think like a future him? I think yeah. the same way that he cast himself back into the past and influenced Hodor, I think that is an older him casting himself back to this point. But he, but he said that he was a Targaryen, that he was... He, he already had said his identity. Assuming he told her the truth. When, when did it, you ever assume anyone... Uh, if if, or if he was a Targaryen... But, yeah, I mean, that, it would it would kind of line up with the fact that he's crazy, certainly. Well, yeah, there is that. But then again, if he's lived to be that old and the world is still so fucked that he's trying to send himself back, he's going to be a little off, irregardless. Yep. Yeah, it's the whole thing's it it, it, it is artfully done. It's great. I, I'm waiting for it to just be like, and he wakes up, this was all in a dream, and Hodor's by his side. Like, like for that story arc, it is starting to get to the point where it's so, like, out there and gone that I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm like, no, that happens, you, it's you like, know what uh, I genuinely thought they were going to do to tear at the heartstrings, and I'm actually really, really disappointed they didn't do it now. The very opening scene of the show where you see all the white walkers marching and it's, Hodor. Kind, of, and it's kind of zooming through them. Yes. I so expected to see Hodor with the glowing blue eyes. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he is there and you just have to look really fucking hard because there's uh, four giants that yes. really take your vision quickly. Yeah, but I was looking see, and I didn't see him. You see one and you know you're expecting that one because he died in the yeah. 
the thing. Then you see three more in the background. You're like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Now you realize how big this army is. Yeah. Yeah. I went back and paused and looked to see. And I didn't see anything. Oh, but... okay. Yeah, I was looking But it may close. be in there still. Oh, that'd be a strange thing if they didn't convert him, though. Yeah, no, that's what I was... I, I, I genuinely thought they would zoom in on him, though. I thought it would be kind of a... Yeah. Mm. Uh, a kind of a nice callback in the most... I, you know what? Sort of way. They may be saving that. They may be saving yeah, that maybe. for later. I mean, they probably have... Bran is, is at the wall, and I, they're fighting, and then Holo shows up. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no! Do you think... <laughs> And I don't think they want to. I don't think they want to tug the heartstring just yet. They want to wait, mm -hmm. let the band aid be on there for a while before <laughs> they just rip it slowly off. No warg has ever tried to control the undead, have they? Not that I'm aware of. No. Because we, I mean, we we know Bran can control people directly. And that but what was about, unheard of for the warg. Yeah, and that was unheard of. But what about the undead? I mean don't know that'd be crazy i well, think anyway. if it is what you're thinking casey like future self telling past self to be more careful mm -hmm. I, I don't he's failed <laughs> I, yeah but i think that may have been his intention i think he may have come back and been like make sure you definitely don't do this particular thing and don't do this thing just so he would do the child thing and immediately run off and do it mm, maybe I still can't imagine how getting tagged by uh, the Winter King was a good thing in any way, though. I don't know. Maybe it would focus them more on him and distract them momentarily to give the people at the wall more time to prepare. Mm, maybe. Every day is important to them yeah. as far as... like. I'm still waiting for Cersei and all of them to like have the eye opening. This is what's really going on and important, and everything you're doing is stupid. I don't think it's gonna matter. Cersei is not gonna open her uh, eyes. Yeah, I don't think that. it'll matter. Uh, unless, if, the, unless the White Daenerys Walker Daenerys and and John and uh, what's it called are all gonna come together and be like, okay, we need to deal with all of this. Yeah. The, the only thing that will awaken Cersei is White Walkers in King's Landing. Yeah. Oh, I know, and that's what I'm hoping for. Well, and I know that I means everybody else is dead, but I still want to see that scene of just, like, the realization that everything you've done is wrong and stupid and worthless mm -hmm. and why. And it's her fault that her bullshit dynasty is going to fail. Yeah. I mean, you would get that with an army at the wall and and just regular people instead of just white walkers yeah but i i always i have this thing where i believe it's gonna come down between white walkers and dragons instead of the north well, and the south it is the story of fire and ice yeah, yeah. that i mean that oh yeah no definitely i mean they're the antithesis of each other but i also think that that could be symbolizing a um working together of john and daenerys yeah I think it could end up being fire and ice coming together. They are really setting up for that because they're looking for the dragon glass, and they just, what's his name, just found out that the dragon glass is it's down where, where she they is, just yeah. landed. Yeah, yeah, where she literally just arrived. Now yes. I have to, I have to say as well though, there are a bunch of fucking idiots. Because if I was looking for dragon glass. The you would go to dragon, oh. yeah, dragon stone. <laughs> well, where do you think there might be a place that you could mine some dragon glass? How well, about the big place called no, dragon stone? It, it's named dragon stone, but I think it's just a myth that there's a cavern. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Like Stannis that. said we have dragon glass in, in dragon stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to oh. to be fair, they're all idiots. So, like when you make the statement of, I really wish that these they would stop being idiots. You had to be way more specific. I mean, they're all way more sides, aren't they? At this point, yeah, I think that's why they yeah. hadn't oh. gone there yet because right. because they still do need to watch the wall. <laughs> but either way, I think we should we should start because Madman isn't here. Okay, I, I take the ring off the sword, and I wish for... No. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, 
I guess we'll have to recap again after. <sighs> Unless. I mean, we remember what happened, right? Yeah, I remember what happened now. I just I just needed that click of we killed a whole tribe of things. Now I remember quite clearly. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, you guys are on the ship. Uh, and you guys all take a look around. Uh, and you see that there is what appears to be a number of different things. <clears throat> no weapons, uh, but there are some very old-looking chests <clears throat> uh, with locks on them. I'm sorry, I'm getting really bad acid reflex right now. Whew. Never good. Are you an old man? Maybe I am. What do you? What, what, you don't know me. <clears throat> I'm assuming that uh, I'm not looking around because I'm driving. Yes. Well, you're you're very tentatively like, I don't know what I'm doing. I have to make sure that this is going the right direction. Exactly, yeah. Um, I do a couple somersaults. Once, when, while they're on deck, I roll us upside down. <sighs> no. No. Uh, <laughs> you, you make sure it goes straight towards... Uh, Falkirk. Yes, straight, it is straight going into Falkirk, yeah. Straight towards Falkirk, yes. And you you are uh, going extremely fast, and you can feel the wind coming past you just while you're on the deck. Um, we got to be catching some eyes. Yeah, so Gull and uh, Bogard, you're looking through uh, and you find in what appears to be one of the storages areas, the main storage areas, it seems like, uh, and three chests piled on top of each other, <coughs> all locked. Uh, do you decide, what do you do with them? Are they magical? Uh, no. Let's get them open. Yeah, I'll open them with uh, lock breaky magic. Do I where have some? Is that which, the which, Yeah, where, where's, where are you getting lock breaky magic? Um, I will use Celestial Mithril's pretty hard. I'll just kind of force them, pry them open, break the locks essentially. You want to break the locks? Break the locks, yes. Okay, roll me... That's, that's what he calls magic, hitting it with a skill. Sure. Roll yes. me athletics, then, as you go to slam it into the t into the locks. I mean, it may not get it on the first try, but eventually the locks will break. Uh, let's see. Actually, it's for, it's for, there's probably a key in the captain's quarters. But right. you go ahead. Uh, uh, ping! <laughs> And you watch as the entire chest dents and the lock pops. Uh, and you hear a... <sniffs> as you see what appears to be a glass orb inside of the shattered. thing is now shattered entirely. Whoops. <laughs> I think it broke it. It probably wasn't magical. I, I set the box or the chest down to the side and I go to open the next one. Yet again with your athletics. Okay. You slam it again. Uh, very similar. Yet again. Uh, no shatter this time. You open it up. Uh, you see that there is what appears to be a uh, decanter and a picnic box. Hmm. I set that one down to the side. I'm gonna kind of like push it towards Ghoul because they can usually figure out what these things are. And then I go to the third one. Okay. Now this one 
Well, I do not have advantage, I will say that. I'm just rolling two. But now this one is not going to end up well for you. Uh, uh, does anyone know the excerpt of the potions in DMG? <laughs> Did I just break open a bunch of potion bottles? Yes. <laughs> I don't know where it is offhand. Potions. Potions. Go, why are you not stopping him? Uh, I, I mean, I, I said there was probably a key in the uh, cabin's quarters, but... You know, he seems intent on breaking. Okay. And when he breaking. broke the first one, you still didn't stop him for the next two. Roll me a... Roll me 6d100. Oh, no. Please be healing potions. They're not healing potions, are they? 79. Jeez, two That's rolls, a pretty good roll. 10. <laughs> If that's a damage roll, that's a pretty good roll on a 60 100. 31. 147. What are you talking is, about? That's, that's not a good. terrible roll. That's horrific. If you broke a bunch of alchemist fires in front of you, I would want to roll low on damage, dude. No, I'm pretty sure these are D100s for effects of six potions combining. Yeah, six rolls on the chart. I rolled two between 10 and 20, and two between 0 and 10. Okay, so you open up the chest and you see a bunch of mush. Glass and black mush. Just black <coughs> potion mess. Looks oh, like whatever was in here was rotted. <laughs> And I close the chest back up. Go. If I ever find out about this, I'm blaming you for it. <laughs> and and but there there are just tons of, bro and you did hear the shatter, of of multiple glass vials. Wait, um, I did. I did. Yes, everybody did. It was very loud. I I shout <laughs> back. What the hell are you doing down there? Oh yeah, no, you heard the first one. Where it was the oh, the, then I would have started. It was at that a point. very loud <laughs> shatter <laughs> of an orb. He's you kind of hear the conversation. Oh, there's some chest. Then you hear a loud thump and a crash, and then there's probably a key in the captain's cabin, and then another thump, and then yeah. a third thump and a crash. I'm, I am shouting from the helm. What the hell are you doing back there? Whatever it is, stop it. Just opening some chests, and we'll take that long. That doesn't sound like you're opening them in any usable fashion. The locks certainly aren't usable, that's for sure. No, the chests aren't usable either. Oh, well. They're all dented and destroyed. The locks, uh, the chests, and the contents are all unusable. Yeah, the what only the, the only contents that are I'll usable. Be now right back. I'm gonna call the second one. Um, which has the decanter, uh, with ha which has some clear liquid inside, and a picnic basket. Bring those up. And there was nothing else besides the glass orb in the first one? Nope. Just Alrighty. the glass orb. So take those back up and start it by... Be, it's still intact, but there is a glass spidering basically, on the orb itself. It's it's pretty shattered. It was it was immensely loud, a lot louder than you would think. He's just destroyed the last dragon orb. Uh, it's still intact, it's just... It, it's heavily damaged. Well, is it, is it magical? Yes. Oh, okay, well, scoop up the pieces then, then... See if we can mending it or something later, but we'll take it everything back up. Start identifying. Okay. We got time. 
Actually, though, to be fair, if it does turn out to be a dragon orb, it needs to be destroyed. <laughs> what? Did Syndra just say that, or...? No, Syndra doesn't have any idea what a dragon orb is. I'm saying that. It's a dragon orb, Casey. They're orbs that are used to control dragons. Oh, like the eye? Mm hmm Okay. So... How long are we flying to... What, the Falkirk? For five hours. Okay. I mean, we got time to search the entire ship in that case, though, right? Yes. Okay. So you, you begin searching the entire ship. Uh, you find lots of weird-looking old clothing. Did, that was weird. My headset just went... Anyway... Can you still hear me? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Loud okay. And clear. Uh, my. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. So. You, uh, you find lots of old clothing. Uh, very odd fashion. Um, lots of frills. Lots of, uh, decorations. Um,. Some gold on it as well. Uh, you see that there is some weird insignias all around it, uh, mainly involving lions. Uh, the flag that was basically uh, wasn't uh, hoisted, which you find um, like near uh, the bottom of the uh, the cargo deck uh, of which there is a number of different crates in, inside of the cargo deck all which have uh, immediately uh, when you walk in by the way uh, this smell is horrendous um, you sort of just like stick to the the front of it and you find the flag which has uh, a ceremonial dagger uh, inlaid with platinum and gold um, decorated with a lion's head uh, and the flag itself is a roaring lion quite like this one on the picture uh, you start searching the crates and it is extremely old, rotten, grain, food, rats have gotten into it, insects have gotten into it. It's a breeding ground for plague and nastiness. Um, you do find in some of the things uh, what appears to be a number of uh, resources as well. Steel, iron, uh, some nails, some wood. Uh, wood is pretty much entirely rotten. Um, I mean, the crates themselves would be destroyed entirely if it weren't for the fact that they are uh, nailed pretty tightly with adamantium nails. Um, but it looks altogether like you can salvage some things from this. It's just mostly, most of what is taken up by the cargo bay is just junk. It's just garbage, refuse. Um, you look through the officer, officer's cabin, uh, the officer's saloon, sorry. Uh, you find uh, a number of weird-looking drinks in bottles, languages you don't understand. Um, a number of places uh, in common that you, like, references to places, I mean, uh, where you have no idea where they are. 
Um, you see a dartboard. Uh, you see a bar fully stacked. Um, lots of different knocked over uh, bottles as well. Uh, most of them are empty, though there are some uh, things you could take from this that have alcohol in them. Uh, no bodies throughout the entire ship, I should mention. Um, and then you go to the captain's quarters, and it is locked with a magical lock. Uh, identify? You identify the magical lock. It is what appears to be a magical lock. Whoa. Yeah, it's a magical <laughs> lock. What the fuck is that? Dude? That was painful. Badman, what are you doing? Oh, hi. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, that oh was me. Oh my god, Ben. It's you. Ben, what Can are you stop? killing? Hey, you know the bird that's always in the background? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm actually walking through the kitchen to let the dog out. I, I connected my phone, and, and she's right there. So that's that's the regular volume. Please, God. That is a very loud stop. bird, dude. You're killing birds? That's not cool, man. It really isn't. Oh. He's playing Angry Bird, the live version. <laughs> He's like, yeah, their the mobile app is for suckers. Real men do it real. Real, real men throw pigs. real pigs, or real birds at real pigs. Yes. yes. Makes sense. Exactly. I want to open an amusement park where you can do that. <laughs> like, actually, that would be shut down actually build, so quickly. Actually build catapults. You can tie the bird's wings so they can't fly off, load them in, and fire them into pits, into pins of pigs. Okay, that's a bit fucked up. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Out, Casey. How much thought have you put into this? Yeah, exactly. Let's that's get into the recap. It, it's only just occurred Mountain to me, Man. but now it needs thought. Okay, so recap because Madman's finally here. I'm sorry, uh, guys. I'm very sorry. First, first thing is, do you identify the lock real quick, Gull? Uh, the lock is basically, if you touch it, if you go to open the door, and you are the right person, it opens. So there is no actual lock. It's just locked. Right. You cannot open just it. enchanted. Yeah. Uh, but, recap. So... Man, you missed a lot. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's cool, dude. You missed almost uh, as much in this game as you did in the Monday. <laughs> yeah, really. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so, you all went to Little Ivywood, uh, being teleported by the old man. Uh, you got to the mansion that the old man wanted you to basically clear out of all the creepy crawlies, as he said it, uh, and found that it was pretty much empty, except for uh, a number of rotting uh, furniture um, and what appeared to be a golem, which you dispatched, much to his chagrin, uh, <laughs> because he said immediately, no, that was my friend. Uh, didn't seem very, uh, you know, uh, yeah, what's it called about again. it? Though? He, he broke our magic wand over it. Yeah, yeah. He just broke the magic wand. That was it. He called it even. Um, the wand did say then, it was an enemy, though. Yes. Which is why he was like, oh, well, here, I'll fix that for you. <laughs> Uh, and led you into the door that the golem was, was guarding, bringing you into a rather large uh, study room 
which he opened up into an even larger room, which happened to have a number of different magical item treasures. He walked into uh, the room and got onto a desk uh, where he found a uh, psi crystal, took the psi crystal, put it into his robe, uh, took a book out of a chest, which uh, Bogard, Sindric, and Gull all saw as uh, a book of, were told rather, I should say, uh, a book of all of the good deeds that have ever been committed and will ever be committed. Okay. Um, <laughs> committed is a weird way to say that. <laughs> yeah, all the good deeds that will be done and have ever been done. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, <coughs> yeah, I. It would I mean, I was with, with, with on. Yeah, I, I. I mean, I knew about the Elven Armada ship and all, all that, so I don't think you need to go that far back. Okay, so. You guys, I was on the ship and I talked to the captain. You remember? Talked to the captain. Yeah. Uh, you did all of that. Um, everybody came back. Talked to the captain. Uh, you decided that. For now, uh, you would at least, um, while in the city, wait for the uh, dragons that had basically been uh, coming into this uh, private area in Sulia. Uh, you went and waited at uh, barbecues, uh, speaking to Barbie a little bit before you spoke to, um, Trillix, an old veteran, uh, bronze dragon, who basically told you what was what, that, uh, there was a number of different people who loved this place. You lost Mad Man, you might as well stop. God fucking <laughs> damn it, man. There is that. Is that Madman back or is that Ben back? Well, I think we've lost both. Mic checks. Everyone. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, hi. About freaking time. What happened? No idea, man. God damn it. What what did you what did you last hear? <laughs> we'll begin the recap with. Uh, so there was was this house, and this old man wanted us to. No, I'm kidding. It's right. Continue. I did, I don't think I missed much. Anyway, so you spoke to Trillix, the veteran mm -hmm. uh, dragon, ancient ancient bronze dragon. Uh, he told you what was what. That uh, there was, in fact, in the sky, a uh, guy who was basically trying to say that he was the son of the last dragon and the last giant. Uh, and he really didn't have much of an opinion on him. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did have an opinion that there was going to be a war coming, no matter what happened, uh, whether or not th anybody, whether or not anything happened um, with this guy, there would be war coming to Sulia, uh, and that he would be a part of that war, because he relishes in it. Um, He had basically told you the only reason why he had come to the city is because of Barbie and not because of any sort of uh, familial want to help anybody. Um, what a nice guy. And that, you know... He really cares a lot. He's just holding it tight to his chest. The <laughs> general gist is that his children, as he put it, do not want him 
to interfere with anyone. Uh, that the last dragon basically pushed all of the dragons out. And the last giant pushed all the giants out. And I told well, him he had no idea what his children thought, that we do want him to come back. And he said that he highly doubts that. Uh, <laughs> that you are, in fact, a minority. Oh. That, um... <laughs> Well, that makes a lot of sense. If I'm a minority, that means he can't discriminate against me, and he has to believe what I tell him. Yeah, there we go. Lloyd. Do uh, dragons have the same PC laws as we have? I don't, God, I no, I don't think so. Know. They, they've been around so. a lot longer than we have, so you would think they would have more of them than we have. Although, for you, you are acting a little bit weird, because... why? Where's the echo? Is it me? Uh, say, oh. say something. Hello? Maybe it's just me. Hello? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just when you talk, Ben. Rip. Alright, let's see. Is it gone now? Hello? It's gone now. Yeah. I mean, we me? can hear you. Yeah, we can right, hear right, you. Yes. Okay. Well, no, because is is awesome giants and the wisdom of the last dragon, and now you're just like, no, that thing that the last dragon said that would be right, he was wrong. He was just flat wrong. We need to find him so we can tell him he's wrong. I don't no, understand. It's, it's not a matter of finding him to tell him he's wrong. It's a matter of finding him to find out why he said that. The thing why is, are you being stupid? The thing is, my my character is not specifically after the last dragon. He he was after the last dragon because that was the one that was there most recently. But if he's finding dragons that, that were there, that were of Sulia, that are not the last dragon, he's just as interested in having them come back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but yeah, so Trillix basically said all of that. Uh, you said goodbye to Trillix after, after, you know, speaking to him for a while. Um, and he did say that he did know the old man that you had spoken to and that, in fact, he had created a passageway through uh, the uh, city uh, out 